Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, as posted, Microsoft rolled out their Patch Tuesday updates for the month of August 2022. Now, there was another security update that was also included uh, in the Patch Tuesday updates that rolled out earlier this week, which isn't um, normally part of the monthly Patch Tuesday cycle that Microsoft does make available for the Windows operating system. And if we just head over to Windows Update um, on Windows 11, the update history, in case you hadn't noticed or um, were wondering what this update was all about, security update for Windows 11 KB5012170. This was an important security update they rolled out to address a secure boot DBX issue in the Windows operating system. So if we just click on learn more, that will take us to the release notes just to give us a little bit more information regarding the update 5012170 and apparently according to Microsoft this has rolled out to Windows Server 2012, Windows 8.1, basically all your different versions of Windows 10, Windows Server 2022, Windows 11, Azure Stack HCR and Azure Stack Data Box and um, apparently they say uh, that Windows devices that has a unified extensible firmware interface, UEFR, that's um, the abbreviation for that, based firmware can run with secure boot enabled. The secure, the secure boot forbidden signature database DBX prevents UEFR modules from loading. This update adds modules to the DBX. So that's what the update does. And apparently this was the issue. A security feature bypass vulnerability exists in Secure Boot. An attacker who successfully exploited the vulnerability might bypass Secure Boot and load untrusted software. And this security update addresses the vulnerability by adding the signatures to the known vulnerable UEFI modules to the DBX. So that's what this update KB5012170 um, addressed in the Windows operating system addressing and fixing that security issue related to the secure boot dbx so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one